Hey guys, how are you doing? Al Churchill from Tractor Tips here. Um, over the last few months I've been uh, reverting back to a lot of vinyl, playing a lot of my old vinyl stuff as many of you will know. And uh, after playing vinyl for a little while I went back to playing the vinyl time code with Tractor. And I realized a big difference between both of them. Um, the time code that I was using was the Mark I time code. And I noticed that there was a bit of a lag, a little bit of a delay when you went to slow down or speed up the vinyl on the time code. Um, it slightly it didn't it operated slightly differently to the original vinyl. There was a different feel to it. Um, it seemed that you needed to slow it down a little bit more. It kind of stretched the track a little bit, and then you slow it down too much, and it would kick over into the next beat. It, it was just it just felt a bit weird in comparison to um, to real vinyl. So I decided to go ahead and get the Mark II vinyl. So this arrived over the last uh, few days here, and I thought I'd give a little test run. So I have the Mark II vinyl on the decks, and uh, I wanted to do a little experiment to see how it compared to the Mark I and, uh, and how it also compares to real vinyl. So the vinyl comes in different colors. You can get it um, in black, clear, red or blue. And I just decided to go for the black option. And initial uh, loading up seemed instantly more responsive to uh, calibrate. On the old Mark 1s I had to uh, put the decks into 45 RPM and put the pitch right up to the top sometimes just to get it to to read the vinyl. So this was a much quicker calibration and I notice as I push it that it's way more responsive. You can hear it in some like synths and uh, some kind of pads you know when you push it you can hear the pitch change instantly. It's definitely more responsive than the Mark 1s and uh, let me show you here how this, uh, how this looks. You can hear it here as I touch the... Looks great slow and uh, also fast. I didn't notice any digitizing or anything like that. And you can hear how instant that is. So in total, I'd say if you're still using the Mark 1 vinyl, definitely recommend upgrading to the Mark 2. Much nicer feel to it, uh, definitely tighter, more responsive, and uh, you won't be disappointed with that upgrade. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you again soon.